Hi guys, namaste. We're gonna do this, so get excited. We're gonna do trauma-informed in yoga, and it can be for anybody. So just grab a yoga mat, or you know, you don't even need that. Just do what you can to participate. So before we begin, let's just take a moment to just stand. So put all the things down that you've been doing, turn your phone off, as far as like volume and distractions, and just come into a stance. Take a moment to really push your heels down, get still, and rise up through the crown of your head. You can keep your eyes open for now, but just notice yourself not moving around anymore, coming into this stillness. So what we'll practice is some mindful breathing, we're going to do some shapes that will bring up some feelings for you or responses and we'll use the yoga to help practice in triggered states. We'll create an atmosphere where we can actually have an effect with our response. So almost stilling ourselves or in the moment so that we can choose a response and not just a reflex. We'll also have some tools to calm the mind quickly when we're in an anxious state, using the body, using the breath, and using different uh, visualizations in the mind. So let's go for this ride, come with me. So starting here in stillness, let your arms hang to your sides. Turn your palms forward as a symbol or a gesture of receiving receiving whatever is to come. You can take what you want, what you need, and just leave the rest, no obligation. If you're comfortable, close your eyes. Otherwise, let your eyes cast down towards the ground and listen. Reach through the crown of your head and let your shoulders drip down away from your ears. Take a full breath into your chest. Let your chest expand like your heart is getting bigger. And then as you exhale, soften at the back of your neck. Do that again. A chest breath, inflating the chest, making the heart grow bigger for love, receptivity, for forgiveness. And as you exhale, let the shoulders sink, let the back of the neck relax. Now, take a deep breath into your belly. So inflate your belly like a balloon. And as you exhale, you'll feel a softening, a releasing in and down as the belly releases the breath. A balloon breath in the belly. Inhale, inflate. And exhale, deflate. Let's do one more like that. Inhale, full in the belly, and exhale. Allow your legs to be actively kind of charged. Think of a trunk of a tree, sturdy and strong. And then let your eyes open now. Just gaze down at your toes. Pick up all your toes, all ten of them, and spread them out wide. Spread them out wide, even the pinky toe. See if you can bring the pinky toe off of the ring toe, which is not easy, by the way. And then let your toes come down, and see if you can let the toes come down from the pinky toes to the big toe in that order. Keep watching. Pinky toe ring, center, it's hard, right? <laughs> and then the index toe and the big toe. So what we're doing is we're concentrating, using just these little things to quiet the mind. Let's do it again. Pick all ten toes up. And the pinky toes and then the ring toes start to descend. If you did this every day, it would be easier. Center toe, index toe, and then the big toe descends. And then shift your weight a little forward, kind of Michael Jackson style. Lean forward into the toes and then lean back into the heels. Lean to the right, lean to the left. 
Go around in a circle, one direction, and go the other way. When we practice balancing, really concentration centered. So this is good. As you turn your attention out of all the things that we are bothered by, and hone in like a ninja. So lift your heels up. Inhale. Exhale your heels down. Breathe with me on this. Inhale the heels up. Not hard. Uh, it's not easy, right? Exhale the heels down. And this is the trick. See if you can lean forward a little bit so your heels don't just plop. Two more like that. Balancing up. Inhale. And exhale. Heels down. One more. Use your breath to lift. Inhale, think of a balloon. Inhale and exhale. Leave your heels down. Just place your hands on your cheeks and close your eyes and breathe. This is a very natural response when we're, you know, stressed, have something trigger. So it actually is natural to soothe. Let's take a couple more breaths here. Hands on the cheeks. You want to put this one in your pocket because you can do this anytime. You don't need a yoga video. You don't need anything. Two more breaths. Calm yourself. You hold the key. One more time. Release your hands. All right, let's do this. So you're going to take your arms forward, out, up, and then when you come down, imagine you have like water on your hands and you're trying to dry your hands just by, you know, like a quick movement down, <sighs> like that. I'm going to go a little bit wider with my feet. And um, this one we're going to do about 10 times, and I really want to you to do this. I don't care if all your friends are there and you're trying to be the cool one, do this because this one is really effective. Especially if you are right at that point where you're getting ready to text something, you're getting ready to do something, you can do this instead. And then you can decide if that's appropriate. Inhale, 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 exhale. Okay? Inhale, 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 exhale. Sniff, in, in, and out. So you go, Okay, let's do this. Ha. Ha. Forward, out, up. Ha. Forward, out, up. Ha. In, 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 out. Ha. Ha. A little louder with the exhales. Loud as you can. Ha. Ha. Three more. One more. Ha! Stay down. Stay down and imagine or visualize that you are spilling all of your stress and tension that has been accumulated in your body right down from your lower back, draining down your middle back. A lot of tension here in the lower back. For a lot of us, we hold it there. It's releasing, spilling like hot red lava down the middle back. You've got to visualize it. You've got to see it in your mind's eye. Down the upper back, thick, heavy, hot. Down the crown of your head, touch your chin, and into the ground. Visualization is so powerful, don't underestimate it. You want to visualize that you have whatever, whatever it is that's a burden, whatever you're carrying around and you literally are in your body, you release it now. You don't have to know exactly what it is, just be willing to spill it out. Let's, let's wave it out. Hold your elbows and out of the lo lower back, those little corners that things have hidden for perhaps days, months, even years. We have the ability to let it release and give it back. 
So before we stand up, and if this is too much for your back, no worries, bend your knees or come up and visualize yourself doing it. Visualize yourself doing it. Just close your eyes and imagine you're in a forward bend, waving your upper body side to side and intentionally releasing some heaviness. But exhale is when the breath leaves the body. Exhale is when things leave the body. The last thing we'll do on this planet is exhale. So let's focus on the exhales. I already feel calmer. Two more. <sighs> Spilling like water. One more. <sighs> and then release your hands and take your hands to your hips. Bend your knees a tad. Come halfway up. You're looking at the ground. And take a full breath here. We're acclimating and then arise up. Sometimes you get a little lightheaded when you've been down there for a while. So take a moment to just breathe in the new altitude. Let your arms rela release again and take this quick time to center and ground. So I want to use the imagery of a tree again because it's, it's very powerful. Um, just look around. Trees have the roots. They have the structure, the strength of the trunk and then the limberness of the branches and the, and the limbs and the, and the upper. So we have the same thing. So you spread your little root system, your toes, and then your legs are your trunk system. And then the upper body is more fluid. So you want open heart, belly fluid. So this is this, you know, almost like a, think of a jellyfish. You know, really moving. There's not a stuckness. Breath is really important for stress. When you're breathing shallow, it's very tense. <laughs> when you're breathing full and deep, it's calm. So we use the breath to get to the brain. So take your arms to your sides and let's be tree-like. So root system spread, legs engaged, uh, trunk inflating, jellyfish style out and in. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lean to your left, lift your right heel. Keep breathing. When we balance, one of the first things to go is the breath. So I want you to visualize that pool, that expansion and contraction each time. Jellyfish style. So lift your right foot up if you can. Lift your right foot up. If you need to fall, fall. <laughs> fall and come back. So we, we have a, sometimes we, when something happens in our life, we think, well, that's that. Well, if you have determination, determination to work with stress, to get stress out of your body, to, to transform, to recover, to elevate, to get a better job, to have more loving relationships, you need to be resilient because you will fall. There's a lot of failing. And if Thomas Edison was really picky about his failures, we wouldn't, he wouldn't have been able to create something so amazing on his thousandth, thousandth attempt. So just keep falling and coming back. Keep falling and coming back. Be resilient. Almost rubber band style. Don't worry about the fall. Come back. So we're going to come up a little higher. Join me when you fall. If you fall, come back up quickly. Be quick about that. And then let's try this. Extend your right leg back and lean forward. Lean forward. So Superman style, like you're flying. Whoo! Take another breath in. And then rise up, same leg, we're still here. We're still here, if you've come out, three turn. It's not about the fall, it's about the comeback. Be the comeback kid. Now extend your right leg forward. Take your arms up. Bend your right knee now. Remember this from the movie, the Karate Kid. How amazing that was. He thought he was gonna lose, right? And he didn't. He had a really good move waiting there. You do another breath in, and then exhale and release. You release your foot, release your hands down to your sides. Get grounded, get rooted. The right toes spread. The left toes spread. 
this is a, a practice when you get centered and still that you can access any time. Like I said, you don't need a yoga video, you don't need a book, you don't need a therapist. You get grounded with where, wherever you are sitting, standing, get still. And then you can just kind of tap into your breath and that in and of itself is very calming for the mind. So root down and rise up and breathe. Big breath in. Inflate, long breath out. Shift to the right. Left heel up, maybe. Left foot up, wobbling around, feeling crazy, feeling unstable, good. Get over it. Come back to center, keep coming back. Resilient, keep coming back. Unstoppable, meet your goal, keep going. So using the breath is like this amazing tool because you go inhale and you can try again and exhale and drop all the drama about it. Inhale, try again and exhale, drop the drama. We're just learning. Take a deep breath in, see if you can go up a little higher and then let's fly. So you kick that left leg back, draw your wings as wide as you can. You can go as low or as high as you wanna go. Keep coming back, try again. Keep breathing, keep rooting, the trunk is engaged, the root system spread, just like the tree and the wind and the storm, you have to be grounded down here. Lots of things could happen up here. That's why we call it limber. So be fluid, keep breathing, one more breath here. And then rise, bring that left knee back up again, and then straighten, kick forward, We'll keep it bent, but try. Just try, see what happens. Sometimes we decide up here what we are willing or can or can't do, and we're wrong. <laughs> so just try in your body, let your body try. And then bend your knee, Danielson, karate style, karate kid style, and sink into your right knee and stretch your arms up and feel empowerment, capability, um, transformation higher than I was just a minute ago. Strong, capable. One more breath here, inhale, and then exhale, and release. Come back into your center. So step your feet hips with distance. You spread your toes, drop your arms to your side. You could do this at the grocery store line, doesn't matter where you are, whether your eyes are open or closed you intentionally zoom back in to the feeling of being stable, centered, and you watch your breath. And that'll bring you right into the now. Let's do a different um, calming breath. Uh, take your, I'll do the opposite. Take your right hand, I'm gonna try to mirror so it's easier for you. Take your right hand onto your cheek, like we did before. This one is, oh my gosh, you know, it's a very calming, um, shape for your your brain very innate to calm the right hand is on the cheek the left hand is in front of your mouth we're going to actually change a breathing style here so you'll inhale four counts hold for four and exhale for eight through pursed lips inhale for four pause for four and exhale for eight through pursed lips. I'll guide you. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold. One, two, three, four, exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold. One, two, three, four, exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, inhale, hold, exhale, blow out through pursed lips onto your hand. Inhale, through your nose, hold, 
Exhale through pursed lips onto your hand. One more. Inhale. Hold. Through pursed lips, exhale. And breathe. Release your hands. Palms face forward. And now palms face out. Sink your shoulders. As you inhale, stretch your arms up. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. You're back in a forward bend. What I want you to try is stepping your left foot back to a runner's lunge. Left foot back to a, a runner's lunge. Now you can drop your back knee onto the ground or you can keep your back knee straight and you can always change your mind. So I'm gonna do it with a knee down just to show you that option. And then gaze soft, because remember, we're kind of balancing here. So if you're looking around or you're watching me, you can just listen to the cues, trust yourself. And we'll inhale, the arms come up. Well, I like to imagine that I'm reaching up to grab the Olympic rings. You know those rings in the gymnastics field? The rings of reaching up and grabbing it and hanging from the rings. So instead of just kind of sagging here, you can probably tell the difference. When I reach up, I'm really energetically almost hanging from my hands. So reach up and stretch along your rib cage, stretch along your spine. Use the inhale for a little extra energy and the exhale to help root and ground. So the same idea of the tree, you can bring it right back in now. You can bring the idea of the upper body being limber, the breath having that quality of expansion and contraction, which I like to say expansion and then drawing in. Expansion and release. So stretching up, open, and this is a beautiful practice because right here, right now, you're probably getting to the point where you're done. <laughs> this is a great place to work with because as we function in this human experience where there's some times where we just don't want to be doing what we're doing. Let's see if we can face ourselves there, get to the other side. Use your breath, use your grounding, use your why, your, your goal of like, I want to grow, I want to calm, I want a better life. So right at that point, when you want to give up, just watch that. See if you can take two more breaths right here. Inhale. Exhale even longer, ground down one more time. Inhale, and then exhale and release. If your arms are lifted, go ahead and take your hands down. Now bring your right knee back, and we'll sink back into child's pose. Not for everybody. You might have no bend in the knees, and that's okay. If you don't have bend in the knees, you can just drop your elbows down. You can put a blanket between your heels and sitting bones, a pillow there. You can um, stay sitting, uh, just sit down cross-legged, it's fine. Don't leave, be resilient, keep trying, right? Do your version of you and so that you can keep working on your self-transformation, your evolution. All right, so you can be happier ultimately, right? Just so we can be happier ultimately. So, so let yourself sink back if you can, as far as you can. I like to take a moment to kind of pull my heart forward a little bit, a lengthen out of the, the lower back. And then I like the idea of peeling down, peeling down onto the thighs. So take your time, there's no rush here, so peel down, and then that might be here with the forearms. You might be able to put your head down on your stacked hands or even onto the ground, it doesn't matter. This one's an option if your head doesn't meet the ground. You know, when you have your forehead resting on something, it actually sends a, brain, uh, a message to the brain that things are calmer. So if you can get your head to touch um, something, and release in the back of the head, the neck. Such a beautiful shape of, of surrender, of humility. Surrender, humility. 
So breathe in those qualities. Breathe in those qualities so that you can be ultimately happier. Because the, the battle is, is tough, right? So sometimes we, we need to just surrender that fight, whatever that fight is. You've heard the expression, you know, the waves will keep coming. We just need to learn how to surf. Well, this is learning how to surf. Because life will still keep coming at you. Things that you don't like will still happen. How can we surf? How can we be with it without having to um, suffer and to um, harm ourselves, really? So bring in, breathe in the quality of humi humility and surrender and you might now while you're here draw up in your mind's eye some thing current something in your life right now that you can apply this to if you're hitting a wall with something in a relationship or with yourself it just can't get to any kind of peace there that might need, require at this point surrender or humility. So as the shape will already inform your brain, use it to help in, in, you know, invite that into the outcome. Three more breaths. Inhale. Remember, everything leaves the body. Uh, things leave the body on the exhale. The breath, not only the breath, so whatever you want to take with it, it, let it leave with your breath out. That battle, that, that fight, that resistance. And then in your inhale, just invite that, that surfing, that riding the wave, that vulnerability. Slow your breath even here. Go even slower. See if you can feel your breath really onto your thighs, like inflating onto your thighs. What about your head resting on something? Can you feel that inside and outside? And then slowly lift your head. We'll come up, step the feet back to the earth, come back to our center place, standing. So take this practice, you might do it 10 times a day, to center yourself. How? Get still and watch. Get still and watch yourself breathe. You might visualize the tree now, grounded, rooted, stable, stable, and fluid, expansive, growing, limber, full of vitality, rising. Deep breath in, long breath out. Place your tongue at the roof of your mouth on your inhale. Push it. Release your tongue on exhale. Push the tongue at the roof of the mouth on inhale. Release it on exhale. Push on inhale. Release on exhale. Two more like that. And then that 
works, right? <laughs> Arms reach out and up, palms touch. Exhale and fold. We're in a forward bend again. This time you'll step your right foot back to a lunge. You decide. Probably go with whatever you did on the other leg, okay? So if you stayed on the back knee, uh, dropped on the back knee, do that. If you straighten, then do that. See if you can commit to what you did on the first side. So I did the knee drop with the toes untucked, so I'm going to go with that. And because we're going into a balance pose, I need to be resilient with coming back to my breath. Because that's the first thing to go is when we start to fall. It's like, oh, we tighten the breath. And then if we're at a series of falls in our life, series of perceived failures, we might not breathe very well after that. <laughs> so come back into your breath. Come back into your breath. Go deeper with your breath. And feed your brain. Get some more serotonin. Get a little happier. So we sink down and rise up. I'm going to grab for those Olympic rings. Inhale, reach, and then hang from the rings. So this is challenging. You know, for most, for me, I've been doing this for a long time. This is challenging for me. So it trains me on patience. It trains me to stay the course. Because I get bored real quick. <laughs> and so I want to, like, rush it. And I think, if I breathe faster, maybe I'll be done faster. It's not the case. Breathe slow and get deeper in. Let's try it together. Four breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Hang from the rings. Get sturdy. Inhale. Exhale. Ground. Soften in the neck and shoulders. Inhale. Exhale. Almost there. Stay the course. One more breath. Inhale. And release. Woo! Slide the left knee back. You can double your mat up. I'm going to show you how to do that if your knees are ever like, ouch or you're on you know, a hard floor surface, you don't even have a mat. You can put anything down there. Like sometimes in the winter we just grab our jackets and we just slide them under the knees. So you can do that. I've got some pretty tough knees, so I'm not gonna do that. I just wanted to show you what you can do. But we're gonna be on the knees now. So up on the knees. Bring your hands onto your thighs. You kind of push your hip bones forward. That crease of the hips, you're trying to kind of expand there. But what we really want to expand is I'm going in the middle, but you know, energetically the heart. I'm open the heart for love, right? For me, love, self-love. How's that idea? It's kind of a, a distant concept. <laughs> We're gonna bring it back home because just like it starts with me, right? It starts with the woman in the mirror, the man in the mirror. So see if you can uh, just take a, a deep breath here. We're gonna have some belly movement too, but I want your your breath to initiate this opening of your heart and for one purpose, for self-love for you, right? You're already doing yoga now, so there's clearly some self-love going on, but this is a great practice. We're just gonna physically, spiritually, energetically, and emotionally open up the heart, okay? Starting with the body, and then let the breath do the next step. So you take your hands to your lower back, fingers facing down, elbows pointing back. Elbows, especially if it's tight, the elbows are flopped to the sides, that's okay, but try to get, uh, gauge them back or aim them back. And then keep the hip bones forward over the knees. And we're just imagine a puppet string tugging the heart upward. And just gonna maybe close your eyes. Feel free to just look forward, feel free to look up. Not necessarily back, you can look up, but don't necessarily drop your head all the way back. But think of your heart expanding, like expanding for more self-love, self-forgiveness, generosity, more self-care, right, coming at you. So deep breath here, inhale, fill up, abundance, abundance, exhale, ground. Breathe in abundance, inhale, exhale. Breathe in self-joy, inhale, exhale. Breathe in happiness, inhale, Exhale. Breathe in confidence. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in vulnerability. I'll do it too. Inhale. This is the shape of it. Exhale. Let's do a double dose. Inhale. Vulnerability. 
exposing ourselves so we can learn to be more available for the changes, for what's training us, right? Instead of guarded, guarded, guarded. Big breath in of just sheer joy. And exhale, come forward. Ha, ah, feels good, doesn't it? Okay, so come to sitting for a moment. Any seat will do. Sit on a blanket, sit on a folded mat. Um, sit on a chair if you want, that's fine. Very popular place to meditate is in a seat versus standing, although you can do it any time. And when you're meditating, you're basically just watching one thing over and over so that your mind can take a break, right? We let the world go on without us while we go into ourselves. We're not going to do that yet, but this is this popular kind of place to sit. So a lot of times when you see someone sitting like this, you think they're just going to be meditating. You can do a lot of things sitting. And so you're going to take the right hand down to the ground, and I'm going on the fingertips because I want to stay high, and then take the left arm up and stretch to the right. So we're opening up the side body. Reach through your left fingers a little bit more. Sink into your left knee. And then turn your chest up like we've been doing. Heart to the sun. Inhale. And then as you exhale, you'll sit up tall. Take this left hand to the right knee. Right hand slides behind. And then you pick it up. Boom, to the crown of the head. And start to turn. Turn, turn, turn. You can close your eyes. Keep your eyes open. You don't need to watch the camera now. You can just... Uh, the phone or wherever you are on the computer now, just listen, okay? So just listen. While you're turning, let your inhales give you a little more height. And your, your exhales allow you to move deeper, not necessarily into the twist, but into yourself. Inhale to rise. And exhale to turn. And keep your eyes still, whether they're open or closed. And I want you to visualize that you are literally wringing out anger. Literally wringing out the, the, the fact that you've been mad recently, or today, or this morning. And that's okay. We all, we all need to express our hurt and anger. But right now, sometimes it's too much. And we need a tool, a way to release it. So with me here, take an inhale like a higher road. And as you exhale, ring out anger. Three more. Nothing specific. We're going to do three more breaths. I want you to focus on what we're putting in. Inhale. Forgiveness. Exhale. Invite forgiveness. Nothing specific. Inhale. Forgiveness. Exhale. Keep turning. One more breath here. Inhale. Forgiveness. And exhale. And what I'm working on is forgiveness for myself. You know, it starts with who's in the mirror. So come back to center and breathe in that quality of forgiveness. You don't have to have any story going on. That, that something has that maybe is um, not serving us has been eliminated. And in that vacant space, we put what we want in. So inhale, forgiveness. It's a gift to us when we forgive others. It's a gift to us. Two more breaths, nice and light. So what I do when I exhale like that is I kind of imagine 
that I'm doing that breath, it's just really calming. In fact, you know, that sigh of relief, they don't call it that for nothing. So you can always, you know. So let's do um, the other side. We'll start with the lean. So left hand on the ground and the right arm stretches up. I'm just reaching over. Turn your chest up. Keep your rib cage up. Enjoy the opening. So particular, peculiar, because we're in this shapes. We're in, we get in yoga shapes, right? As a way to just kind of see what's going on in our mind. <laughs> because when you're reaching with your fingers and you're noticing your right knee sinking, there's really no time to think about whatever you're angry about. You're just really in the body and the breath. It takes precedence. So we use the body to kind of get into our hearts and ourselves. This is this like tool. So let's do that. What do you notice now in the shape that you didn't notice just one second ago? And now what? Do you notice one more thing in your body that you feel that you didn't notice one second ago? Keep looking. There's probably one more thing. Now sit up. Right hand to the left knee. Left hand slides behind. This left hand is important because it's your prop. It's your prop up. It's going to give you that lift. You'll come up. You don't have to torque your head or anything around. You can just look to the left. It's really about the trunk moving, not the head your head, my head, and um, you press down into your hand and your sitting bones and rise up, just like the tree, a lot of tree imagery. <laughs> you want to be rooted so you can rise. I like to think of blooming, blossoming, sprouting. You know, we're on the rise. Everything you want is a little uphill. We got we to gotta do the work. We got to get grounded. Sometimes we got to weed. You know? So let's weed. This, is, this exhale is when things get pulled, released. I'm not talking about your body. I'm talking about imagery of pulling weeds. You're taking something out. So the first round, I just threw something out there, right? Anger. But you might already have an idea of what you'd like to wring out. If you don't, I'll give you one second and you'll come up with something. And go ahead and visualize yourself wringing out that out of your body. Nikki Meyer says the issues are in the tissues. We move things out and we allow things to come in. The body definitely keeps the score. So wringing out with your exhale. Visualize your willingness to wring out what is no longer serving you. And stick with the same thing, okay? whatever you chose, each exhale, see it move out, see it release in your mind's eye and in and, and, and your body will, will follow suit. Keep going. Two more breaths. Deeper now. Now for three breaths, I want you to invite its opposite. Invite its opposite into the inhale. Like for me, I was ringing out pushiness, and I'm going to invite patience. Okay? Here we go. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, invite, invite what you want, what will serve you now. Exhale, one more time. Come back to center. Whew. Okay, let's come down. 
Actually, I'm going to show you what I want you to do. And since you're probably by yourself, maybe you've got all your friends there, um, there's nothing too high. Like, I teach this with hundreds of people. And, uh, you know, at first they're like, ah, uh, and then the, the cumulative effect, like the collective is doing it. Just know that hundreds and thousands of people have done this before you. You're not the only one. And give it your best shot, okay? It's not hard. It's physically very, very doable. You just won't want to. <laughs> you won't want to, but it's so good for you. You're going to love it when you get done. So let me tell you a real quick story. So in the wild, animals that, like a deer, that has you know, been in the headlights, so to speak, they have all the stress. Lactic acid, ah, fight or flight. Well, when they get into a safe place, then they don't think, okay, I'm going to call my friend, and I was so stressed out today, or I'm going to have a cigarette, or I'm going to have a beer. They shake to get all that lactic acid out. It's very natural because there's all this stress that just went into the body, right? The issues in the tissues, and now we got to wiggle it out, okay? So think about that. So... We won't go very long, but go with me it, the entire time. Do I have your commitment? Are we good? You gonna do this? You gonna do this? You gonna do this? Okay, let's do it. So I'll demonstrate. Let me get where you can see me. So a rattle is this, not this. Do you see the difference? <laughs> this is a robot. This is control, and this is not control. This is rattling. Okay. So ready? Here we go, everybody committed? Three, two, one, shake. Shake your legs, shake your wrists, shake your arms, laugh if you need. <laughs> you probably are. Keep going, don't stop. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Uncontrollable wiggles. Shake, shake, shake. Arms, arms, arms. We were the deer in the headlight. Probably a thousand times in our lives. We got a lot more to do. Keep going. Shake, shake, shake. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Get busier. Get faster. Get bigger in the shoulders. Keep going. How about 10 more counts? Ready? 10. Faster. 9. Bigger. 8. Faster. 7. Keep going. 6. 5. 4. 3. Two, one. Now, hey, tell me that doesn't feel amazing. It's like you're in an astronaut in space. Then release your feet. Take your arms and legs to the earth. Even if you're in a sky rise, you're still being grounded by laying on the ground and enjoy the freedom and the calm after that storm. Everything you want, everything I want, is a little uphill. We gotta climb. So if you actually did what I did just now for about a minute, you'll see the view is way better up here. That you, there's no shortcuts. The only way out is through. And it's worth it. Take three breaths here. Really ground on the exhale. Like spill your body. And now walk your feet in underneath your knees. You'll be in a, a bent knee position. So bring your feet right under your knees. Sometimes people walk in and don't walk in far enough. You need to walk in enough so your heels are right underneath your knees. And you drop your hands alongside you. Now you can watch me do this if you're looking at a phone and you're looking sideways. But don't watch me while you're doing it. <laughs> okay? 
then you're going to have to look up to the ceiling when you're doing it. You don't want to turn your head in a back bend like this, okay? So let's just let's commit to doing the looking upward. I'll show you so you can see now and then you do it, okay? So you'll lift your hips up and you'll either grab the sides of your mat if you have one or you can lace your hands underneath you or you can push your hands down to the ground. Any of those options. So go ahead and look up straight to the sky and lift your hips up and either snuggle your hands into the, into the mat and draw your shoulders under or if you can lace your hands behind your back or you can just press your hands down the ground. And then take your breath deep into your chest. Remember that jellyfish action of inflating. Exhale, push your heels down. So I want you to concentrate on your inhale being in your chest and your exhale being in your heels. Inhale, chest lifts. Exhale, heels push. Inhale, chest lifts. Exhale, heels push. Inhale, chest lifts. Resilience, keep coming back. Heels push. Two more, stay with me. Inhale, everything you want's a little uphill. We're uphill, exhale, one more time. Exhale, ah, come on down. You don't get that feeling unless you go on that hike. <laughs> All right, arms come behind. Feet walk uh, to a little bit wider, and then your knees just windshield wiper side to side. Lucy Buse, side to side. I love this one because it reminds me of windshield wipers. And windshield wipers as you know, are vital. They're very important if it's raining. <laughs> and if, it's, if you're driving and it's raining and you don't have windshield wipers, you're in a very precarious situation. But if you're living this life without any tools for calming your mind, without drugs and alcohol, then it's a very dangerous place to live. It's hard to survive without good coping mechanisms. So right now, come into center. The rain has stopped. And place your hands onto your belly and be right in this amazing coping mechanism of the breath. Inhale right into your hands. Now you might not need stress relief right now, but you will. So practice now so that when you need it, it's already there. Bring one hand to your belly and one hand over your mouth so you can breathe out into your hand and feel that, okay? We're not going to do the pursed lips this time. We're just going to make a ah sound, a heated breath, okay? So you're going to go inhale through the nose, inhale into your belly, exhale. You'll feel that warmth on your hand. Inhale into your belly, into your hand on your belly. Exhale. Inhale. Try exhaling a little longer than you normally do, okay? Exhale. Keep going. Until you're empty. One more breath here. Inhale. Now, you're welcome as we go through Shavasana, the final pose. Have your knees together and your hands on your belly or on the floor beside you. You're welcome to do the formal seated meditation pose. Otherwise, more traditional is to lay in Shavasana with your body in supine anatomical position. Just like our first position, as soon as you landed one hour ago on your yoga mat, that you stood in a tension, this is very similar shape. 
You let your spine st stretch long, head is in line with the spine, you're turning your chin upward. Arms are draped to your sides, the palms facing forward. Let your feet just spill to the sides so that there's no grip in the hips and the legs and relax your entire body and relax your mind by just watching your breath. Now, you do not have to breathe fancy. You don't have to breathe big and grand. No holding of the breath, no pursed lips, just breathe. Each exhale is an invitation to soften into the earth. You can visualize your body like water just spilling down. Each inhale is just like this beautiful friendly reminder that we always have opportunities to start again. Exhale, soften. Inhale, open. Count three or four more really nice breaths here just watching how it is, just right inside. One more breath here. Now slowly bend your knees, just planting your feet on the ground. Take a breath here. And then roll to your right side so that your heart is high on your left side in the fetal position. Take a moment here. And then climb up to a seat, a final seated position. We'll finish with the tradition of um, a hands in prayer as just a, a peaceful symbol to ourselves. Um, and the exchange of the word namaste. The exchange of the word namaste, which simply kind of loosely translates to I bow to the divine or the light in you as I do so myself. I bow to the light within me. I could just say I bow to that center that I find within me. Okay, so we're just honoring that. My hands in prayer, namaste. Heart is open crown to the sun, and I'll bow to you, and then you bow to me. We're really just bowing to ourselves. Namaste. It's been a pleasure doing this live with you. Save the video. If you only got a snippet of it, just save it. And that way you can save it to your library and you can go back and do it over and over if you want, or you can share it with friends. If you want to share it with friends, just get on the site and just tag them in the comments below, and then that'll send them um, a, an alert that there's something that you want them to watch and experience. Um, I'm Nicole Peltier Hall, and it's been a pleasure. Have a beautiful rest of your day, and we'll see you next time.